Welcome back. It is now 9-12. This morning, Justin Horn is back on the road again, off to find the meaning behind the names. And this go round, there's a theme, misspelled names. Yesterday, we told you about the town of Natalia and how a swapped vowel changed the name of the town. Today, we head over to Dimmit County. Justin explains that the county may have dotted its I's, but not crossed all the T's. One step into Dimmit County, and you can tell this rugged landscape is stuff of Texas legend. So not surprisingly, it's named for a Texas freedom fighter. Dimmit County was named after Philip Dimmit, who was a participant in the Texas Revolution. As far as we can tell, there are no pictures of Philip Dimmit. We can tell you, though, that he played a rather large role in the Texas Revolution as a scout at the Alamo and aiding in the Battle of San Jacinto. He would later die by suicide after being captured in Mexico. So when a new county was formed in the late 1880s, those who lived there wanted to honor him. His last name was Dimmitt, D-I-M-M-I-T-T. -T. And back in the old days, not everybody could read or write or spell. Leaving us with what we see today. It wound up being Dimmit, D-I-M-M-I-T. They dropped the second T. While the spelling may not be perfect, Dimmit County was perfectly situated to be part of the Wild West, sitting in what was once a lawless strip of Texas near the Mexico border. This is a, 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 a kind of a no man's land between the Nueces and the Rio Grande River. It was called a Nueces Strip. In 1911, Dimmick County Deputy Candelario Ortiz was famously killed after attempting to stop a gun smuggling venture into Mexico. The whole event was documented in a silent film, which was shot by the sheriff of Dimmick County himself. Most of the actors in the film were actual participants in the ordeal. Nowadays, Dimmit County is much quieter, hanging its hat on the oil business, but still managing to keep a bit of that Wild West flair, even with its missing T. I've seen some really colorful characters come through here. That's fascinating. <laughs> yes, I, you know, I was surprised to find that there were so many sort of misspellings or, you know, changes in the spelling with a lot of locations here in South Texas, but uh, there you so go. So we had Piv Divot instead of Pivot. Right. We had Natalia instead of Natalie. Natalie. And now yeah, we have Dimmit instead of Dimmit. Which is instead of Dimmit with two T's. Just, right. yeah, it's just missing a T. There is also a town called Dimmit up in the Panhandle, and it's spelled correctly. Oh, so that's funny. You, hmm. just, you just never know. It's a great series. I loved it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Justin.